Hi Capricorn and welcome to your November tarot reading. All right, so I started something new that kind of came to me intuitively. I have been for a while now asking Spirit to tell me what sign to do. So when I pulled your sign, there were only a couple of cards that had came before you. So ultimately I decided that that was going to be what led you up to where you are now, if that makes sense. So there's three cards um, that came before the devil card which came up for you so we have the seven of pentacles the five of swords and the tower okay ultimately what this looks like to me for some of for some of you because i feel like this as we go through this there's going to be a couple different scenarios but ultimately what I'm seeing here is somebody that was focusing on their self at one point focusing on their harvest really kind of like nine of cups nine of pentacles energy like you were working on getting there five of swords I feel like there was a distraction that came into your life I do feel like ultimately this card is also like behind this card in a sense in my mind I see the high priestess so with that it's kind of like you might have felt like you had a choice or ultimately what you didn't see was that you had a choice to continue working on yourself or to go into this connection which you most likely saw some sort of red flag like there was just some sort of warning sign as to not go through with this or that this person may not be or have the intentions that you think tower moment whether this has already happened or this is going to happen in the month of november i feel like there's going to be a major shift when it comes to your relationships when it comes to the things that you're working on when it comes to the things that you're building okay it's almost as if a lot of the thing there's like this quote you know life as you know it will never be the same is kind of the energy that i'm sensing here where like what you're planning may not turn out as expected and i think that you are going to be very shocked by this i also feel that there's this energy of somebody that you know that you are very either you already know this or you're going to come into this knowledge during the month of november that somebody doesn't have your best interest and this could be for some of you this has nothing to do with love and this is literally related to a business right seven of pentacles could be somebody like taking your ideas somebody that is um secretly working against you this person could just not like what it is that you're doing you know what i mean like i don't think this person intentionally like i don't think this person wants to feel the way that they feel and because of that, you, that's why you may not know this person or you may not be aware that this person has those intentions. Like this could be a family member, a friend, a coworker. This could be a business partner. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, that's what's coming. That's what you could have dealt with. Whatever the case is here, the devil card, there you are here. You are going to be seeing everything so clearly things that you were aware of things that you weren't aware of it's like your intuition your if you've been doing any kind of work any kind of self-care like all of that is finally going to be like you're going to see the results of that and i feel like a lot of the results that you're going to be seeing around this time throughout the month of november i actually feel like they're going to be more internal results i feel like they're going to be more and i think that the internal results are actually going to get you further to the physical results you just may not see it that way because that's not what you're expecting that's not what you're intending to happen This is this whole forbidden fruit, the whole temptation. You are getting close to something and the closer you get, of course, there's going to be temptation. Of course, there's going to be more temptation. As much as you do something good and you get more praise, you also get more of those negative energies. And even though it may not be as much as the praise, it's still underlying, it's still there. And for some of you, this energy, this person this thing it's actually like you know the devil card is you it's actually like you it's your subconscious 
like holding you back because if and if that's the case like literally devil energy what i'm seeing right now is like you are this calm cool collected very motivated person and to people but like at home i don't know it's like i'm seeing like eight of swords like you feel you feel chained you feel chained and for some of you you know how to get out of this but you aren't trusting yourself you're not trusting the process within you some of you you just you know it's an unknown territory like yeah that's exactly what you want but like you have to break so much you know that you're comfortable with that you've become accustomed to even if they may not be the greatest habits with the greatest people i feel like you're gonna be like there are some life altering decisions coming up for you guys i'm gonna pull some of these oracle cards and then um we'll see what comes out we'll see what's next So the main thing here is like you're being called to look, you know, around and within you and see what is stopping you, what is blocking you, what is holding you back. And it's something that, you know, with this devil card, it's something that you definitely don't want to let go of, right? And with the seven of pentacles, it's all about an investment. You've put a lot of time and effort. This could be a relationship that ultimately isn't going the way that you had thought, but because you had put so much time, you'd put so, you had put such an investment in it to begin with you would feel like, you know, you you may feel obligated, right? This could be somebody that you have a family with. You may feel obligated to this person, to this thing, right? You may feel as though you owe yourself. You may feel obligated to yourself to complete something, to finish something, to stay with someone that, you know, maybe you don't want to do, you don't want to be with. Ultimately, you're being called to choose yourself because one of two things either there's somebody that would if they were in your situation they would choose themselves or that's ultimately where you're meant to go like that's the path that you're meant to go and you know that deep within show me what capricorn needs to see for the month of november I am going to be doing a little special for the month of the whole entire month of November. I am a Scorpio, so for Scorpio season, um, link to my personal readings is in the bio. And yeah, crystals for all of you crystal lovers. I will be doing also because Scorpio season, um, some sales on the crystals as well. So those will be there as well. Okay, let's see, Capricorn. I like this energy for you guys though, like, because I just, oh, I don't know, as much as this, you know, doesn't seem like the most upbeat energy, like, you know, um, reading, I do feel like your energy does feel like, it's like six of swords, like you are, there are calmer waters ahead of you, like, I do feel like things are about to level out. Okay, they're very specific today. Show me what Capricorn needs to see. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Why did it take so long, right? You pay attention to every little thing. Why did it take so long for me to get that card? Why, the question isn't why did it take so long for me to get that card? That was my question. But the question for you is why is it taking you so long to see the signs? To get the answers, to get the messages, right? Not the messages from me, but the me maybe that's it. You are not getting the messages in real life because you're watching too many tarot readings. Some of you may need a little break. Let's see. You're being called to step into a higher place in your life. And the only thing that's stopping you is you. And I was just doing a personal reading actually and I told this girl actually, it was, I was just doing one. And I told her that because it was very true. That was her energy in her reading. And it was like the only thing that could stop you is you. And um, wow, where was I going with that? How did I just forget? Hopefully I'll remember later. I can't believe I just forgot that. Wow. Oh, 
oh yeah, so, okay. So the only thing that can stop you is you. And as much as that may not sound like the greatest thing, it's actually a good thing because then you know what it is. You know what's stopping you. It's you. So what are the things that you do? What are the things that you're aware of? And how can you be more, you know, conscious so that you can become of the things that you do that you're not aware of that's, you know, sabotage the things that you want in life? find the root it is within you that you need to look to find the answers to receive the answers this month that high priestess energy and it's interesting because i'm wearing like this um purple um you know head thing and it's reminding me of like high priestess energy and i feel like with with that and you know even the, the cards that i use the deck that i pulled it's very um it's very much all about intuition it's very much you know the crystal for you guys this month would definitely be amethyst For some, for some, I'm hearing um, citrine as well. Yeah. But you know, like, it's like, answer the call. Like some of you, I don't know, like if you're in the industry, like entertainment industry, an actor, you know, maybe you have a YouTube channel, whatever the case is, but it's like, answer the call. Like for some of you, it's like, oh my God, for some of you, you need to check your junk mail. But with this answer the call, it's like, you have to be prepared to answer this call and if just like if you're an actor and you don't answer the call someone else is going to get the part so if you don't take this opportunity someone else is going to get it ultimately i believe that if it's for you you will obviously get it but this just means you're going to stall it and you don't know if the next opportunity is going to be tomorrow or 12 years from now so answer the call i feel like with this like also like if you take into like consideration like this lady is just sitting there like looking off into the, you know, and that's also one thing. Looking off into, I was gonna say, because like this is my balcony here, so I'm like looking outside, so thinking like, you know, looking off into the world, but maybe there's this lack of interest in your own world where you're just like distracted by social media, you're distracted by everybody else's life, um, and you need to like, create that kind of an obsession with your own life. Like if you love their life so much, why don't you design your life to look like that? Some of you guys are just gonna be so like caught up in the day to day, just so out of, just so like focused on the now. And when this kind of comes in, it's gonna be like unexpected. For some of you, I'm even hearing like, this could be some sort of pinch me moment. Like with the seven of Pent seven of pentacles, you clearly have been working on this. You've been wanting this for a very long time. But again, like I said, for a lot of you, this is going to be something that comes in very unexpected. And also with the set, uh, with the five of swords, you also have to make sure that this is 100% fair to you, right? So if this is anything where you're signing any sort of contract, like make sure that you do everything correctly. Okay. Any kind of legal documents that you need, this is not the time to skip out on anything. This is the time to make sure you cross those dots. Okay, let's see. There also could be a need to get outside more to spend more time outdoors right i feel like there's this energy here with all these trees where it's like that's where you can find balance that's where you can find answers some of you also i am getting this energy of like eating um like switching up your diet a little bit more um more fruits and vegetables and whole foods adding that into your life okay we're gonna stop here we have protection call back your power cut the cord soul retrieval with this, I'm kind of seeing like they're holding their arms like this and it's almost like you saying no to anything that is not serving you anymore. I feel like, I don't know, there are lessons that we learn and once we learn them, like, you know, we take that lesson and we like evolve in life, but then there are lessons where we learn them for a short period of time. Like one that I always say is whenever we get sick, we're like, oh my God, I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to do all this amazing stuff. And then two weeks later, when we get our health back and it's normal again to have our health back, what do we even remember that we said that until the next time we get sick? No, we never do. So I feel like there's this energy here where you're finally learning those lessons that, you know, you only learned at times for short period of times. You're finally like completing those cycles where you won't have to learn that again and you're getting to that next level, that next state. 
but I think like with this also like you may be called like you may be called to do is like you're going to be asked to do more than you think you're capable of doing but you're capable of doing it you just may not think the leap of faith you're being asked to take is within yourself yeah some of you are going to be proved you're going to be asked to prove that you have the faith within yourself that you've been asking or hoping others would give you you recognize within yourself what you're hoping others may you know will recognize within you something like that so that is what i have for you if you want more information or you would like a personal um perspective my personal readings are on sale for november scorpio season the link will be in the description box thank you so much for taking the time to watch this free